Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Go ahead and take it off, please. Uh, take what off? What are you talking about? No, go ahead and start the pot off. <laughs> what? Where's the intro? Like, where's the... Oh, you want me to do that right away? Yeah. I thought we were going to do a small talk first. But oh, fine. I was just going to say, I was going to say, I've been getting killed on Instagram because I keep posting Sydney Sweeney, and women don't like it. They get pissed. They're like, that's, why... That's why Shorty so... from uh, Madam Web? Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, okay, why, why are you so... Feedback. Was nice. Oh. Do you hear that? I do hear a it. A little yeah, bit. Yeah. Do hear it. yeah, 100%. Yeah. So it's usually you good right now? No, 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 no. I thought it was. The way that happens is that we have a we have a a, a, a cable that with power that's touching one of the mic cords. Is it this one? It's this one, I think. So the mic cord. Oh, it might be mine. It was I definitely went away. Uh, it was definitely okay. mine, G. Mine was like right on this. Uh, you mind moving in on this. a little more? Yep, yep, yep. A closer. Yep. Cool. You might have to adjust my camera a little bit though, because I'm a little. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it was 100. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Can I move this over? Yeah, like that. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Fuck. I, this is how I'm hyped for this, y'all. Yeah. I called off work and I'm playing hooky. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm glad I caught you early, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. that helped. Yeah, 100%, bro. I appreciate y'all for even uh, letting your boy do this, by mm -hmm. the way. Of course. Because this is my new swag, too. Like, I'm trying to get on podcast. I'm going to do my own podcast again, so I love to get y'all on there. It's gonna oh, yeah, be called oh, yeah. for sure. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be called the Study Lounge. So it's 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 probably gonna be. I mean, we could probably do it in person, but if it was gonna be on Zoom, you know, make it easy mm -hmm. so we could kind of be wherever. But um, I think the mic situation is always the. I know that's the worst part. Yeah, that's that, the worst part. Yeah, because I've been I thought of the same thing, but the audio just sucks. I know. Yeah. I know. I'm, if 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 everybody doesn't have the same quality connection, it's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah, it's a wrap. But. <clears throat> when you're ready, are yep. we re-recording or are we just uh, sticking to it? Uh, uh, go ahead and just start over. Anyways, uh, you're getting cooked. Right? I was saying I was getting cooked on Instagram because I keep posting Cindy Sweeney. She's a beautiful girl. I like the lust over here. I don't see the issue. It's all jokes, by the way. But I think the issue is is because she's white and blonde, and they just like I've gotten so many DMs where they're like, I don't understand why you're obsessed with her. I'm like, look at her. What do you mean? I don't understand. And it's just I just posted because. I think it's funny to post her, and and there's there's funny memes about her, and they, I just think it's hilarious. But people, women, uh, get very upset. They're like, I don't understand why you're you're so obsessed with her. I'm not, I'm not I'm not really obsessed. I just think the jokes that come along with it are funny. I just don't I don't know. Can I chime in? Yeah, 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 yeah of course. That's probably because they watched that weak ass Spider Man movie. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't think nobody watched that. <laughs> bro, did you see the evil villain? I was like, bro, they, they got this. Who was the villain? It was I don't know, but he looked like a fucking wrestler. Like he didn't even look like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, why you got this chubby ass Spider Man nigga? I I, it, uh, I didn't watch it, but I, I've seen enough of it. Um, it it looks. I'm gonna watch it. Why would you? It. Why? Why? I want to watch it because I want to see how shitty it is. No, fuck that. When it gets on stream, I want to watch it to shit on it. Literally, I can't. It's on stream now, bro. You just gotta go to uh, one of them websites. <laughs> oh, you're right. You are right about that. <laughs> don't do that though. Don't do that though, y'all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, we don't it, condone pri piracy. Uh, we already talked about that though. Um, they 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 need to take that license away from Sony. They're they're running the Spider Man franchise into the ground. And how do you have somebody like Sidney Sweeney and uh, what's her name, Dakota Johnson? I think her name is beautiful. Women. They got all the all the all the white women, and they and you <laughs> ruined it. Like your whole point was like you have these beautiful women on the screen, and you just make a fucking turd of a film. I know. I, it's I, not like, like the Marvels more. I, I just no, don't, I don't get like why why is it an issue for me to post like a Sydney Sweeney or whatever, but then women can post like the guy from uh, the Bear, the Jeremy Allen White guy. They can post Ryan Gosling. They Bro. can post, and it's not an issue. Y'all can lust over these niggas. The and, guy from the, uh, the dude from Twilight was on everybody. Every, he's everybody, everybody, yeah. everybody, he was on everybody tip for a minute. He's everywhere, the quarterback from U Euphoria. That guy, yeah, that yeah, guy's that guy, fucking yeah, yeah. Jacob Baraldi, I think. Is yeah, I can't look at him the same after you made me watch that fucking movie. I'll Salt never, burn. <laughs> I'll never forgive you for that shit, man. I, I, it's I, a fucked up movie. It's just what's the yeah, okay, the, this this oh that was <laughs> stupid. That's, that's opposite of what I wanted. We have an applause button right here. Oh right. uh, okay okay. It's that random go, y'all. Uh, it's that random go, y'all. Uh, yeah, we back in this place and you'll never see us fall. Time to smack you in the face with that random go, y'all. It's that random go, y'all. Uh, it's that random go, y'all. Uh, yeah, we back in this place.
his place and you'll never see us fall time to smack you in the face with that random gold yo you are listening to the random gold the golden podcast the podcast that sees gold incoming keith sand king we got a guest today go introduce him <laughs> I like that. <laughs> local <laughs> local San Diego comedian Walter Ford and uh we got him here uh very thankful to have him here. He is a part of the Activated podcast, the Black to the Future podcast and the, <laughs> and like the like hilariously that. blunt podcast. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Appreciate you for yeah. letting me be here, man. Thank you for ha- thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you to the crowd. Thank you to the crowd. I'm so jealous that Black to the Future. Is... Hey, you fuck with it? Hey, oh wait, my god! Wait till y'all see like the logo. Oh, no. <laughs> so what? You're on these three podcasts. I know Activated Podcast was huge when shit was hitting the fan in 2020. I remember you guys were getting big hits. Oh, 100. Yeah. We actually broke like three national stories too. I real four. I remember hearing that. So like coming from comedy into like politics, that definitely like relates with me with the stuff I've been involved with. But you got to tell me, what's uh, Black to the Future podcast and Hilariously Blunt? How'd you get into those two? Okay, so Activated, I want to at least start off with, like, you know, how we got into that. So it was me, uh, my brother Q, my brother uh, Mac, shout out to Six Side, and uh, we just wanted to do a podcast, and we started it, and we began just doing music artists and just kind of people local to San Diego. And then uh, George Floyd swag happened, and we all was like, that's some bullshit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then we kind of pivoted. Yeah. And then we we ended up going to every protest in San Diego and a couple of them in L.A. Mm. and live streamed all of them and uh, was on the front lines, man. I ain't going to lie. I, I still taste the tear gas right now nigga, in my cereal. Were you guys over there in La Mesa <laughs> when they were they, that chick right guy, in front of it? They like hit a chick in right, the eye right in with front. the I forgot yeah. what they hit her they, with. They, they shot her with a pellet gun in the, in the eye, up, and yeah, it they, went in up like brain or some shit yeah, like they that. They fucked her up. She, really she blind. She's I blind. was there that day. Fucking, it was... Uh, and the Vons was on fire? No, yeah. the Vons weren't on fire. It was like a... a so, I know, uh, fire like, truck was on fire. Something yeah, was on fire. Something was on fire. They yeah. set yeah. my bank on fire? <laughs> yeah, the bank was on fire. <laughs> yeah, they oh, been yeah. set my bank. That was my bank. I was right in front of that shit, watching it. Like, yeah. what oh, the sh- fuck? Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, that's, uh, that was a very interesting time because I'm not... I'm pretty... I don't really talk about, like, uh, like racial things and, like, political stuff, but that George Floyd stuff really made me sick to my stomach and i remember and you dark skinned nigga so they yeah, bring it to you and, and and i remember i was pretty i was quiet about it for a minute but then i we had that one pop because i was seeing people on facebook like turning it into like a they're like i was like you clearly just saw a man get fucking suffocated to death and you're making this into like a whole other thing and it was really pissing me off and i was like if you yeah. were friends of me and friends of mine you wouldn't even have this like train of thought it was weird so i i remember that's and weird. the narrative now is like, oh, fentanyl killed him. Like, oh, not yes. the knee on his neck for eight minutes. Okay. Oh, he did, he did porn before. I'm like, what does that have to do with anything? You know, the weirdest we part is about? like, I hate how people be like, this is a one time thing. Like, I, when I, in history has def- niggas never not been yeah. fucked Eric, up? Like, Eric, Eric Gardner was the one that turned the tide with me when I was younger. I was like in my early 20s. That was the guy that said, I can't breathe. And he's, he's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trust me, yeah. I'm yeah. reverse yeah. choked, you know? Yeah, and yeah. I was like, the dude was selling Lucy's on the corner, like, yeah. Scoop them up. If you got to put a process them for selling loose cigarettes, which is a whatever law, you know, yeah. that is what it is. But executing them on the street, like, yeah. oh, he didn't give a fuck. Especially yeah. for the right wing people. Got off. Yeah. Got off. Ex- especially for the right wing people that are like, oh, fucking, I'm all about like small government for, you know, not having the government in my life, but you're okay with them executing people in the street. Like, oh, okay. In daylight, too. Yeah. So I, we started off on a fucking hot note right now. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I, I know. know. Yeah. No, uh, we, we're not this serious. I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I, know, I, know. I know. Comedy podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, but that ass. So, so that's what we did with the Activated. It got huge. We got uh, a huge following. We got donations and people, yeah, we support it. Um, then Black to the Future. Is that is that the logo? No, not at all. <laughs> Damn. Not at all. Damn. You no. got to type Black to the Future podcast. Is it a two? Maybe San Diego. It is a two. Black it is It is like the number two. Oh. But well, um, how are you juggling all those podcasts? We do one and that is, that's it's like a full-time job already. I know. I know. So uh, so uh, we've taken a hiatus off of Activated for a little while. Why? But um, just because uh, a couple of the other members, they 
got jobs, it's go hard, to school. It's hard, it's hard man. Yeah, it's hard. yeah, that's what I'm saying. My hard. my guy got got kids. He got a wife. Yeah, yeah he, we, he was in school. We got a master's degree. We compartmentalize a lot of the jobs. So like, yeah. Car- Marquise runs some of the uh, social media. I do some of the video editing. Drew does the heavy lifting with the the major podcast. Editing. Yeah, yeah, and that's what Q was to us. And he was the one with the family. So we like, all right, we, yeah. we understand. We gonna slow down a little bit. And then things kind of you know chilled out for a little minute, but. Yeah. We gonna we gonna keep it going. I'm gonna start a thing called hood politics. So cool. black to the future. I'm really into personal development and self help. Mm-hmm. So I realized that there's not a lot of personal development that's uh, garnered towards black people or just people of color. And so it's a podcast literally just based on on uh, personal development, self help, hmm. uh, all that all that motivational shit. Nah, bro, we're supposed to, to thug it out. Th- we're supposed to just thug it out. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> yeah. Quit being a bitch. Yeah. No, so, I, li- yeah. I like when you post your devotionals and stuff like that on your story because I'm like, man, I do that shit too, and I I need to like. It reminds me to get back to that stuff too because it's easy to like step away and just do the everyday stuff and yeah, get carried bro. away with you that. Know, and, and also just get get lost um, navigating the world yeah. without intent. Yeah, I'm cutting you off. No, no, you didn't cut me off. No, no, I was just I was I was kind of branching off because um, uh, somebody was asking me like, how do you deal with like when you're stressed out and stuff? And I I'm like, you just gotta lock in, bro. You just gotta lock <laughs> literally, in. Literally, literally, that's just men though. It's like I don't know like. Any of us, when we get stressed out, like, yeah, we're stressed out, but I'm not going to fucking pour my heart and soul out to you. So, like, I'm just going through it right now. I just need to lock the fuck in, bro. Maybe that's, that's a, maybe that's just a men of color shit, too, because we all, we, we ain't maybe, never, maybe. Ther- therapy didn't exist to us, nigga, till 10 years ago, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what, what no yeah. therapy, nigga? You had to go, go yeah. get a bottle, smoke a blunt, and yeah. you can figure it out, like. Yeah, yeah, because if you went to therapy, you'd be like, you a bitch. What's, what's, wrong, or you, you what's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Like, what's going on with you? This well, I'm, I'm from the hood, hood, nigga, so if you go to therapy, you a bitch. Uh, Unfortunately. Well, no, yeah. I mean, I, mean I, think, I, think, I think that's still, I think a lot of men still think that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's starting to, the tide is starting to turn, and people yeah. don't think that way as much, because even I've considered it a couple times. Oh, nigga, I had to go to therapy like a motherfucker. Yeah, because, well, because, like, if you really think about it, like, who can you be 100% completely open raw and honest with you can't really like any of your friends there's always something you're like i don't really want to tell him that i don't really want to be that open with him because i you know what i mean there's all so you you know i think a therapist be able to get your all your emotions and your feelings out it's it's a good idea i think i haven't done it but it it sounds good it's really good it's like you can just unload on somebody that really i ain't gonna say they don't give a fuck but it's no Backlash. There's no judge. There's no judgment. Yeah. They have no tie to it. I was about no to say, that's the advantage of therapy. It's a third party person that has nothing to do with Correct. you that you can just like seek counsel with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a fucking stranger. All right, stranger. <laughs> yeah. They touched me when I was little. Not saying they did with me, but you yeah. know, that's what that's what it's for. Yeah. You know. And uh yeah. So okay, so Black to the Future is all based on that. And then um Hilariously Blunt podcast is sponsored by March and Ash. Shout out March and Ash. Nice. Um so that so I work at March and Ash. I've been there for three years. And the owner super supports uh, a lot of the things I do. He actually, uh, they sponsor some of my comedy shows, too. Oh, nice. Shout out to March and Ash. So, Hilariously Blunt, um, it's where cannabis and comedy collide. So, I have some of the, I pretty much have a network of some decently famous people. So, I said, I need to bring y'all niggas in here. Hell, yeah. And then we get the best brands at March and Ash. And oh. so, you get information about weed. And the podcast is literally uh, about the lifestyle of comedians, but not on stage. So like what our mm-hmm. lifestyle is about. Mm-hmm. And the reason I did that is because it's comedy is one of the few things on earth or passions or jobs or whatever mm-hmm. where it's the most eclectic group of people. Like every walk of life, religion, sexual orientation, color, culture, whatever, has a, a voice or, mm-hmm. has, or has a representation. Mm-hmm. And there's few genres in the world that has that other than like music, I guess. How, how long have you been doing comedy? I'm about seven years in now, going on eight. How do you feel about? I mean, it seems like it's it's turning now, but there was a time where uh, comedy was kind of getting attacked. Like you couldn't really. Oh, them niggas still getting attacked. Except we attacking each other now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw the stuff with Corey Hol- Holcomb and stuff. No, I meant yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, that's his shit, people, he people, are, people are afraid of like to tell certain jokes as though well they were. I feel like that's I feel like that's changing. I, like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that's white people. Mm, Personally, I mean, and that could be my opinion. I mean, because and and I look at it like this: so, uh, music and comedy 
are the soothsayers of the times. Yeah. So if you want to know how the culture was at that time, you listen to the music or you listen to the comedians. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I guess you can kind of put movies in there, but it's really those two because that's one of the few arts that are expressive and it's always kind of right now or right, whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like the... The people in the in the 80s couldn't say shit that they said in the in the 50s. The people in the 90s couldn't say shit they said in the 70s. The people in the early 2000s couldn't say the shit they said in the 80s. Yeah. So it's it's always a progression, and the good ones learn how to navigate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can still get the same point across with the new zeitgeist, I guess, if that's the right word yeah. to use. I've I've always said if it's funny, it's funny. If, if exactly. even if it's offensive, if it's funny, it's fucking. I funny. swear to God, I it swear to God, it doesn't matter. Like the the Shane Gillis guy, the guy I white, I, white boy. I love Shane Gillis, he's bro. He's fucking yeah. hilarious. I love Shane Gillis, he's bro. Fucking hilarious. Yeah, Sta Stavros Gillis. is another guy that. Oh, I love Stavros. Stavros is fucking <laughs> hilarious, oh, and oh he goes God. at everyone. I know, he but goes, that, yeah, that's the thing. But that's the thing, though. Yeah. It's it's and that's the difference because you can see it's certain like. I don't want to call them right wing comedians, but they're like conservative dudes that do comedy. Yeah. And it's a weird balance because if you go too conservative, you just shitting on people. Like yeah, you just, yeah, you just mean, yeah. you just like, you know what I'm saying? You punch them down. So they got to find a balance in that themselves. But like comedy in itself. Okay. Let me say it like this. This is why I like comedy. It doesn't matter. Like I said earlier, your religion, your age, your color, your sexual orientation, your language, your culture, how you was raised, where you was raised. Mm -hmm. Every human being on earth gets hungry, happy, sleepy, horny, yep. excited, yep. nervous, uh, let down, yep. you, hopeful. We all get that. And that's the most funny. The most human is the most hilarious. Mm. And like I live by that, like mm. for real. Mm. I've always looked at like... <laughs> Drop a bomb on these <laughs> yeah, I, I've always looked at it as like crying and laughing are natural things you can't control. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like it I've always thought of comedians like it's that like voodoo. You mm -hmm. gotta have a little bit of like that magic to like to bring it out of somebody. You yeah. Know? Uh, it is. There's it like is a thing. whole art of doing that. You it know? is, bro. It's like a uh understanding of the human psyche. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And being able to express or deliver it in a way that people can pick it up and be like, oh, shit, I, I thought about that, but I ain't even think of it like that. Yeah, so being scared, uh, me, like, so if a movie is able to scare me, I relish in it. If, if you're able to make me fucking make my stomach hurt laughing, I relish it. If something's able to make me cry, I'm like, dude, this is so good. It's it's It made me cry. This is fucking good. I used to try to, like, fight it or fight it back, hold the tears. No, fuck that. If it's that good and it, it brought tears to my eyes, it's fucking good. And that's, that's like, the, the secret of art. Like, art yeah. is literally made to give you a feeling. You know, whether you looking at it, reading it, listen, whatever the fuck. Yeah, you I know. Agree. So that's the hilariously blunt podcast, sponsored by Marjorie Nash. They uh, <laughs> they let us get the best cannabis brands, and then I get some of the most famous people I know, and we come together, and it's it's fucking a dream. I can't I can't argue, man. No. Uh, I've had my friend Orr from Wildin' Out, my friend Pink Fox, who's a uh, Comedy Central just for laughs. I Ooh. had uh 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 Lou Brockman, who's with his wife was a uh, finalist on EGT. He's also the the piano player at the comedy store La Jolla, oh, which is nice, like one nice. of the old comedy stores, like one of the most famous clubs in the world, if you yep, know. Yep. So, you know, so it's, it's just it's using those networks that I got. Yeah. You know. Very, very cool, man. Yeah, so that's it. Um, do you have any... Uh, that's getting the meat and the bones, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, I wanted to ask you, uh, who, who was like some of your inspirations for comedy? Jesus. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> 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 Jesus, yeah, for, a second, tell, for a second, I was like, <laughs> no, he was gonna get canceled. No, but um, um, growing up, bro, I don't know if I should have watched this, but I mean, you probably know in black households, man, we kind of just if you if I'm watching it, if 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 Mama watching it, you watching, you're it. watching, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so like I seen um live from the Sunset Strip, for Richard Pryor, when I was like eight, and wow. I was like, all right, this is cool, wow. I like this. Yeah. But what really got me into comedy and what like the first time I was like busting up laughing, y'all remember Comcast on demand? No. Oh, what? How old is you, nigga? I'm 33. You remember Comcast? Mm -mm. I don't remember. No. What? No. Okay. Anyway, so you could you could go. It was the first time you can like. It was like the first streaming type swag. So they oh, okay. had something called okay. First Amendment Stand Up, and uh, Lavelle Crawford was on there. Lavelle Crawford. And the First Amendment Stand Up was uh, presented yeah. by Martin Lawrence, and Lavelle Crawford had me crying, <laughs> nigga, crying. <laughs> Literally crying. I don't even remember what the jokes was, but I was like 14. Like, yeah. yo, this is the best shit I've ever experienced in yeah. my life, nigga. 
I think he's I was, the huge guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. he's fucking yeah, he's hilarious. Hilarious, bro. He's, a, he's, he's skinny hilarious. now. He, yeah. He's skinnier. He's still a little chubby. Dude, he, I remember he did a joke about going to camp and falling in love with a little white girl. Yeah. Oh, my kid. God, dude. That bro. shit is fucking hilarious. He, uh, the one I liked was like, it was like him on a, he, he fat and he on a plane and he like farted and something else. And <laughs> I don't remember, bro, but that shit had me crying. Yeah, then, I was, uh, I was like slow with stand up. Like, I just, I don't know if it was like my brain just didn't understand jokes for a long time. Uh, it wasn't until the Kings of Comedy with Bernie Mac. Oh, bro. Um, that, I mean, when he did the to get some milk and cookies, that was like the, at the time uh, when I was a kid, it was the oh, funniest yeah. oh, bro, bro. shit yeah. on the planet. And then Dave Chappelle's Killing Them Softly. That's still, I think, probably my favorite stand up it's just <laughs> it's just a that or um the, it's, a, it's a baby with a, yeah, the baby's yeah, robbing me yeah yeah that or the uh the cat williams where he's doing the hustling thing and he's he's I mean, like if you're working at mcdonald's oh that's he, america hustle yeah yeah, dude great yep. hilarious you don't hilarious. like the pimp chronicles more than that is the that one the one the where you go deaf yeah yeah that's that, the, that one's really good too yeah. i i i think i like them both probably equally they're, yeah. they're both really good that both legends good. legends the, you know this will lead me into a good uh topic because like i remember growing up we on saturday we would watch stand up my dad and like all of our uncles mm -hmm. and like that was like one of the things like they'd let the kids watch so like kings of comedy was that's what one. i'm saying that's what i'm saying the uh, folks watching it yeah i remember uh, they would watch tough crowd a lot with patrice and like all the, like uh, colin quinn is. colin quinn uh the bald guy that looks like a rat. What's his name? Uh, I, I'll forget his name. Bald dude looks like a rat. But uh, I, I think I know who you're talking about. I can't think of it right yeah. now. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. But uh, that it brings me up to like uh, one of my topics is uh, I, I have a comedy clip right here. Drew, uh, clip number C. Uh, do you guys have any funny uncle stories? And we'll watch this video <laughs> and then go into that. All right, man. I like. Yeah, it. this is Joey Diaz. Yeah, the Joey Diaz. One. Oh, Joey Diaz, that dude. What's he gonna? Click it or what's by, by the way, make sure you get you some zashimi. That's his uh his uh brand, his his cannabis brand. You can find that at Merchant Ash. <laughs> but I'm like that uncle. Everybody's got that uncle like me, all right? He's a little fucked up, he did some time. <laughs> but he's your mother's brother, all right? <laughs> he borrowed 800 from your dad, never paid him back. <laughs> he pawned grandma's wedding ring by mistake. <laughs> but he's fucking solid. He's got your back and shit. All right? That's all you need to know. I'm going to say fucked up shit. All right? But I'm that uncle that got your rolling papers that time. <laughs> <laughs> I got your first porno. <laughs> and when you got the crabs, I got you the shampoo with a little comb and shit. <laughs> and I never told nobody, cocksucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, you know, my uncle, you know, he's a, uh, you know, my uncle's a cool guy. That's all I'll say. He's a cool guy. You know, I, I, I smoked with him a couple times. He's a cool guy. My, I fuck with my uncle a lot. That's that's my guy. I got a ghetto ass uncle who's got like six kids. So they go to John's Incredible Pizza for the buffet, but they'll go during lunchtime uh -huh. and he'll make the kids fucking play for like five hours and they eat dinner there too. So, <laughs> so they, they they milk the buffet Get, for yeah. getting for your money's two, worth <laughs> to, for two how you, meals. That's how you should do it. I yeah. mean, back in the day, they used to do that at the McDonald's play place. So shit. Yeah. 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 I, I, what happened to them? Was, was they, kids getting touched or was it Corona? No, no I, I think, think kids I think it was next just unsanitary and kids and that. the people were getting hurt. Yeah, yeah that's what I was gonna say. Wait, yeah, they yeah, got yeah. rid of them? There's nowhere play place? No, no, nah, nigga. Yeah. Uh, really? I, I, you ain't you there, look there at might it. be an indoor one, but it might be very different than what. Oh, we, wow. I think they like, got rid of all of them. I don't think they got the the ball pit like that's, Yeah, they got rid. I'm pretty sure they got rid of all of them, bro. That is wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. But now I think about it, I'm like, yeah, what McDonald's has a fucking play place? That's what I'm saying. I would hope you don't still attend. <laughs> you looking for him? He took a look at the window. <laughs> ain't no play place in this. Ain't no ball pit. Nah, I can't. Yeah, you gotta go somewhere else. <laughs> no, go somewhere else. Uh, uh, I got an uncle. Uh, uh, he probably ain't gonna never watch this, so it's cool. That nigga was wild. Uh, he was like every every major moment of his life happened in Granny's basement. So I was raised by Granny, by the way. I'm from Gary, Indiana, which is the hood, hood, hood. Mm -hmm. So from I was born in nine, September 21st, 1992. From 92 to 98, Gary, Indiana was the number one homicide capital of the United States of America. <laughs> Shit. It's Indiana, fam. You would never guess that. But it's yeah. 30 minutes from Chicago, so we like to compete, nigga. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Gary, yeah. Indiana. What? Wait, 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 wait. Michael Jackson. We got Michael Jackson, Freddie Gibbs, Bullets. Isn't isn't that place like uh like nobody lives there anymore? Or am I what am I thinking? People live there, nigga, they just got guns. 
<laughs> okay, I think I'm thinking it's, of something else. Keep going. Keep going. It used to be it used to be popping when Steel it was like known oh, as Steel City. I am thinking of the same place. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. So like in the seventies and eighties. What's up with you and Steel? Why do you? Yeah, know? that's so random. No, no, no. I like when I'm bored at work, I I type in like danger, most dangerous cities. I like to hear like that's some black people shit. We yeah, like to do that. I just like to know like that's some black people where, shit. Where are all the niggas to avoid? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, some yeah. real black people shit. I ain't gonna cap. That's because I did the same thing. I did the same thing. Yeah, where are all the niggas I done? How <laughs> dangerous is San Diego? I did that before I moved oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> my 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 be, one of my best friends. He he's from New Orleans, Fifth Ward, and uh, or is it Fifth Ward? New Orleans. He it might be Eighth Ward. I don't remember, Chris. Don't fucking kill me. Where you, anyway? So when he came to San Diego, I'd be like, Oh, don't go to East Side San Diego. Don't go to. I mean, he's like. He's like, your ghetto and my ghetto are completely different. I'm not afraid of anybody. You from San Diego? There. I'm from uh, Victorville, but I've lived here most yeah. of my life. So, so he gets a pass. So yeah, 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 yeah. But when I came here as well, when I came, Victorville's fucking ghetto because all the people from LA, all the all the Mexican gangs, all the the black people for, that couldn't afford LA no more moved to Victorville, and it was ghetto as shit. So then when I came to San Diego, I went to Kearney High School. People were telling me, oh. Don't be a, you're like, don't mess with this. People. In my head, I'm like, I'm not afraid of any of these people because where I came from, the Mexican people were jumped. They, if you walked by the wrong person, you'd get jumped. Blah blah blah. These people are harmless. I don't give. I don't give a fuck about anything. Not not not. No disrespect to San Diego niggas that watch this, but I have not felt in danger. <laughs> there's <laughs> been a I've couple times. There's a couple times I was at Mission Beach and I was at like the basketball courts and these niggas were like, oh, I was like, ah, nope, nope, nope. Well, if no. anything going down, it's at the basketball court. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or the club basketball. <laughs> Court of the club, Get one the of the fuck out of here. But I never have felt in danger at all. Like I even went to the four corners. Like when I first moved here, me and my friend was trying to find a spot, yeah. and it was on Euclid and Imperial, right off whatever the street is next to that. Mm -hmm. So remember, I just moved here from the hood. Now we rode the bus because we ain't had no cotton shit yet. I get off the, I get off on Euclid and Imperial. I look to the left, and it's like six niggas with their shirts off, all in red. Yeah, and I was like. Oh, that's Blood City right there. <laughs> okay, I see what's going on. So then we walk, we cross the street, walk around the corner, go look at the spot. So I should have knew what it was because it said it was an open house, but you could just walk in at any time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I should have knew what it was. Yeah. I don't know what projects it is, but shout out to them. It's, it's just you got to just know your surroundings and mind your business. Oh no, one hundred percent. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So so we crossed the street. I, we was walking towards the projects, and it was it was twelve niggas with their shirts off. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know it's the hood spots when you see the box fans in the windows because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> ain't yeah. nobody got no central air. <laughs> yeah. I turned right back around. I said. Nigga, I ain't moved from the hood to yeah, live in the hood. Fuck yeah. this. Yeah, I remember a girl. <laughs> I, I don't know if you were there. It was like, this is like 2012, 2011. She invited me to like a house party in Claremont. Nice house. I walk into the house. It's a in the corner. It's like six Six niggas shooting dice. I said, nope. All right, nope. Well, right. Now, yeah, no, yeah, no. You told me about it. That's yeah, a fight like, waiting to happen. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I was like, yeah, no. Because when I walked in, they're just staring at us. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. No, mm -hmm. yeah, no. Mm -hmm. not, not you know when you're getting shooting. measured. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. Not yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shooting dice. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, if they lose money, they taking yours. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you know what time it is. Uh, we, I, I wanted to talk about uh, Kira Toriyama. Yes. Um, oh, shout out to my guy, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeez, man. Black people have a special relationship with anime, bro. Black or people just, and, or I mean, just fighting in general, kung fu movies and like. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know how it is for everybody else. Uh, Dragon Ball Z was the first anime I've ever seen. It's the first thing where I saw cartoons throwing hands like crazy. Tsunami was that uh, shit, bro. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I actually got it. On, I had it on a VHS. The whole Namek Frieza thing it was mm. all on a VHS. I watched mm. the. Whole, most of the whole thing in like one night and then when I met up with my cousin Jabril we weren't even really that close but I made I forced out like you have you have to watch this you have to watch this um, uh, a lot of you know deaths don't normally affect me but when I read that Akira Toriyama passed away it really like just like it was just like a shotgun to the chest and not because like I knew him or anything like that but just like he was so significant in so many people's lives because he decided to pick up a pen and, and start drawing. Like he, his his impact on so many men's lives is insane. And, and so women many too. Yeah, yeah. But I, you know, the, I feel like men. Re it oh yeah, really we really, we really, it, really. It was really just every like, nigga was Goku in they in they room back in the day. You all was like, ah, everybody wanted we all to, go, to turn yeah, Super Saiyan. Ah. Everybody wanted to go Super Saiyan. Everybody loves go like. 
I don't think you could meet a, a man in his thirties and and he doesn't know either know or fuck with Dragon Ball Z. You if he did, you'd be like, what what Bro. life did you live? Like what happened? Like I just seen this video showing these uh these rap battlers. You know what I'm saying? Like these uh -huh. hood niggas in New York, yeah. hood hood. Yeah. Then probably been shot. They like, yeah, Goku yeah. nigga, <laughs> yeah, Vegeta. <laughs> like you would, you know, what I'm saying? like it just crosses all the boundaries. Like. Uh, so we, so you know, in we, Mexico, y'all see they they did a Jiren. My bad for cutting you off. No, no, you're good. Did you you're see good, they had good. a Goku and Jiren like the 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 the, 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 the fight. Yeah, but yeah. it was like sponsored by Mexico, I think, or like whatever city. Japan sent out a cease and desist, and they still they and were they like, still did it, bro. Yeah, it was like a thousand it. people they watching. Said, vale verga, <laughs> 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 Fuck off. They're not gonna, they're not gonna come over here. <laughs> <laughs> you, they knew they wasn't going to pull up nah, over to yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. But it was like a thousand people outside watching Goku and Jiren. Like, yeah. And mean, it was sponsored by the state. Yeah. It's a great fight. It's a great Yeah, fight. that's what I'm saying. Uh, so we do a lot of, uh, uh, li we've been doing lists li lately on this, on this podcast. And I wanted to do a top three most iconic moments for Dragon top Ball Z. Top three? Yeah. Why would you do a top three? Because... If top five is just like that's a lot, you know, it, it top three just felt right. These are, the most, these are the most iconic moments in the show. I already know mine now, starting with some honorable mentions. Okay, Goku going Super Saiyan 3, Majin Vegeta, and Ultimate Gohan. Those are my honorable mentions for most iconic moments. Okay, so here's the top three most iconic moments in Dragon Ball Z. Argue with your mother. Okay, <laughs> number one. Goku going Super Saiyan for the first time. One of the most iconic oh, moments in the yeah. show. That shit was like three episodes. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like three episodes. And it was episodes. fucking epic because you all you kept hearing about the Super Saiyan. You kept hearing about it, but you didn't know what it looked like. You didn't know if it really exists. Vegeta said he was a Super Saiyan, but then Frieza beat the shit out of him. He wasn't a Super Saiyan. No, okay? dead ass. Remember Find you had out that. next week on Dragon Balls. <laughs> you yeah. hated that shit too, bro. Oh, that was yeah. the most the oh, most yeah. stressful little, thing as a kid. Do, 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 do. You're like, no, it's all oh, already, bro. Um, on their own. <laughs> number two most iconic moment in the show is Trunks killing Frieza with ease. Oh, when he cut yeah. him in half, when yeah. he cut him in half of shit, yeah. yeah. When most, he was with Cooler, yeah. 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 Most I, I that that scene, he chops him up, does a little blast. It, like, dude, it's just fucking amazing. I think he it was did, hard because he had a he was the first nigga with a sword too. Yeah. Well, that <laughs> and it was like Goku was the only Super Saiyan at the time. So now, oh, you're, like, you're right. You're we right. got this other Super Saiyan. Frieza's back and he destroys him with ease. It was like you're one right. of those moments where you're just like, what the fuck did I? I just watched. What? Yeah, you know, that is. It, it, and, it, and, it, and it was a pivotal moment because shit was getting real. Like, there's more than one Super Saiyan. Shit, we're, we're locking in now. Like, like it, it, okay. And we was hyped too. I well, super hyped. hyped. And then number three, for one of the most iconic scenes in there, obviously, is Gohan going Super Saiyan 2. He, that's, you know, and destroying Cell with the. Yeah, the I think, father, I son, Kamehameha. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, that's it. Yeah. You know, yeah. those are the three most iconic ones in the show. You could argue for some other parts in the show, but I'm talking about the most like pivotal points in the show. Like, if you're going to show somebody Dragon Ball Z, those are the things you're going to show them and be like, all right, yeah, yeah I, I, I'll watch this show. I got I, you. I, got I ain't going to lie, bro. I might have to switch that Ultimate Gohan for the honorable mentions with, uh -huh. the, with, the, with the Ultra Instinct, bro. Like, because that shit was next level. Like, just with the music, the <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I, I don't hate it, nigga. I was twenty eight. Like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm grown as hell. Like fuck it. I'm, 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 I'm a hey. Ultimate Gohan is trash. <laughs> uh, that's what I was saying too. That's like that trees, was cool. That's trees. That's trees. That's trees. So like that trash. was cool. But he didn't even it's beat. Not Boo. cool. He didn't even Silence. beat. Boo. He, he didn't even win. He, he didn't even win yeah. after all that. And you. But he, it was so when he, it wasn't. He was just sitting there for days looking at a fucking. Uh, let me just go ahead and touch you up, when old he, man. When he came down and he was, he was, no. he was beating ass. No, no, he was beating ass. No, and he wasn't even super saiyan. He was just beating ass because he was so, like. So, so you're telling me that you're stronger, but your hair is still black? Get the fuck That's out what me to say. Yeah. It yeah. didn't. No. Dude, it you're didn't. Hate, bro, oh my you're god. You're hating. No. Oh Can I give mine? I, and I, and yeah. I hated. I hated when they That's did treason. unlock potential with Krillin and Kid the, Gohan. The, you're just thinking of the games now. <laughs> no, no, no. They really did though. I mean, in the little show, they did. Like, it was like you've reached your. You've uh, yeah, gone yeah, past yeah, your limits yeah, or some yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I, I, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, but they was they was a hyperbolic time chamber or some shit like that. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. Hey, real quick, did y'all yeah, know that I thought Mr. Popo was like racist as fuck? But you know he's actually like uh, 
uh, a Hindu uh, god. Yeah, he's like a Hindu god, uh, I, and he's the Hindu god of time, which I, is like. Uh, I never baseball. thought it was racist, but kids would call me Mr. Popo growing up, <laughs> and that shit used to piss me the fuck off. I didn't uh, know that. That's fucked up, nigga. Oh, but yeah, I yeah. Say, it's, yeah, it's dark, dark skin, and that's the only black hair there. Oh, you're yeah. Mr. Popo, nigga. Yeah, yeah, nigga. yeah Mr. it's Mr. questionable no, because of the black face, red lips. Yeah, like, but dude, that's you what I'm saying. Yeah, you know that's why it's quite is, a little questionable. Is the only yeah. kids that were calling me that is other black kids. Of course, because uh, that's uh, other black. <laughs> but that's because we got the we got the pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's probably because white kids knew I'd sleep you. Like, yeah. the fuck are you I feel like I feel like Latin people can get they can do that too. But a little uh, bit, a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. You say you had a top three though. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gotta go with. Um, I gotta rethink now. Okay, so my th- three, I gotta go with. Uh, Goku, turn to Super Saiyan. I gotta, yeah. I gotta go off that yeah. one. Yeah. I'm gonna change the other two though, bro. I'm gonna have to go. My second one is probably. I don't probably... Know how you're gonna? Okay. Yeah, you're not, yeah you what can't you beat got? Those two yeah, what you got? I want to hear. I want to hear what you got. I'm gonna have to go. Um, Special beam cannon. Nah, nah, fuck nah, nah. I'm gonna have to go. Goku turning Super Saiyan three. Gee. And then I'm gonna have to go. <sighs> Ultra Instinct, bro. I I might be biased, bro. But him versus Jiren was like. The craziest shit I think I it was a really and, good I, fight. and I'm biased. I'm biased. Let me switch that up. I guess let me go Goku versus Jiren first. Then I'm gonna go uh, Super Saiyan three. Then I'm gonna go Super Saiyan. I'm gonna go that Super Saiyan That's three. It's it's a good moment, but it's like you've are it. I'm, I'm biased. It, I'm all Goku, but I I, I mean Goku's I'm the, all Goku. He, yeah, he, Goku's he, Goku's sick. The Super Saiyan three. It's like it's it takes too long to happen. Then he's only he's only Super Saiyan three for like a very brief time because it takes up too much energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that um, shit was hard. You can't tell was, everybody. When you, it was. It when was. you see the eyebrows, nigga, with the caveman eyebrows, it was. was like. Yeah, my list was more like uh, it's just more like uh, when you think Dragon Ball Z, those are like the the key, most iconic. Those yeah. are the key moments. In, yeah. like, that's what you would show people. I agree. Like, I agree. And mine is like super. So yeah, the only moment I think that may have gone passed over was the spirit bomb, even though it took three episodes to do. <laughs> but yeah, but that's the, that's boo, that's the boo one or the other one. The, I, I'm talking about uh, Goku's first Super Saiyan. Okay, when yeah. he does a spirit bomb like that, that when he kills, against against Frieza. Yeah, I okay, love that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But other yeah, than yeah. that, you were pretty on point. That the um, Trunks killing Frieza one, one when he came back, that was right. fucking. Yeah, fun. no, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. That, that was that's a good. That's a wild card because it's that a whole new good. level. You're yeah. like these guys are fucking playing on Frieza, a whole new yeah. game, you, whole you new thought, level. You thought Frieza was like the the shit. Nah, we just <laughs> chopped that thing. We made that nigga chop suey like in a second. It's over. Like it's this is a new day. Who was the best villain? Sell. I'm gonna have to go sell. Yeah, I'm gonna go sell. I'm gonna have to go I'm sell. Gonna sell. I'm gonna well, have to go sell. Well. I'm biased. I'm gonna have to go sell. Jiren was hard too. Jiren was hard as fuck. And uh, you really like Zabuza. Super. You really like Super a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah, I did fuck with that. Yeah, but it, Zab- Zab- what is it? Zabuza. Super, oh, it Super gets a good. It, 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 it's it's more receptive than it is with GT and part of the Boo saga. But well, that's because but uh, I wouldn't. But what's I his name didn't it, do GT. Yeah, yeah, uh, no, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's Super, called, but GT like Super that has extra. good moments in it, but I have a lot of issues with it. Mm-hmm. But it's the also only, it's still good. But I had issues with it. It don't get good to the tournament of power. I, I per- personally don't really care for Jaren. As what? A, you as like a, what? Uh, no. The tournament of power shit was hard for me, bro. How they no. had like all of you, everybody. And I think I think a lot of it was too. Is just like, oh, here's a friendly contest that just def- that that. Well, it's a contest that that has everything at stake. Where every, yeah. everyone else was like, it was ill intention from the beginning. Yeah. I have a beef with you because there's there, there's, there's I, history. I, li- I like how they added Weiss in the, the God of Destruction, nigga. I think that was like a cool little. I love Weiss and Beers. Yeah. I love those guys. Yeah, yeah, they're, how they're they good. pivoted to that I, and it's like destruction, energy, regular. I, I'm gonna, cool. I'm oh, Goku change, Black but... is the best villain. No. <laughs> <laughs> with the pink hair? Why stop, y'all get my nigga? Stop, stop. <laughs> they made my nigga. Uh, I'm going to change my answer. It's not Cell, it's Freezer. Freezer, the, Freezer is the most iconic no. villain. Of, yeah, no, no, no. Well, Freezer, Freezer came Freezer back was, like seven times. Freezer, <laughs> Freezer destroyed the entire Saiyan race, mm. and then he was terrorizing these <laughs> niggas on Namek for. I mean, how many episodes was he terrorized? Cell was just chilling like, at the thing. Oh, like, he was a but, Dragon Ball but that, Z Hitler. But that's what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. But that's what. But that's why Cell was so hard. He was like, "I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna beat everybody ass. Come pull up." Cell is a cool villain, but I don't think he's the best villain. Of the, he, Free, Freeze is still around. They still right. use Freeze. Freeze like, he black now. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, I got a top five list, but this is gonna be different than your guys's. For sure. It's the top five um, uh, attack moments. 
So okay. 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 So so number five is going to be when cell powers up to do the this crazy command man yeah, up yep. in the air. Yep, 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 Gohan yep, yep. just staring at it with his arms down, not breathing the soul. Yep. And he just fucking little starts a little slowly and then fucking unleashes it. And it's just a little ball. <laughs> it's just a little ball and it <laughs> takes over all of Cell and he's jacked up. Mm-hmm. He didn't kill him but it jacked him up. Yeah, yeah, no, that was cold. Number four is where uh Vegeta does the final flash against Perfect Cell. Great. Ah, yeah. where, final where, flash is hard. Where he cuts up his his left arm and yeah. he's so, he's shocked. He's like, "What the hell is this?" Yeah. But yeah. he grew it back. I don't know why. It he was, shit. I don't yeah. know why he was sweating for a second. Uh, uh, he was surprised. <laughs> Number 3 is uh you got to put Vegeta in there. I'm going to go Goku versus Vegeta, um Gallic Gun versus Kamehameha. Like the first one, one, like the first first one, yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah, Uh, yeah. I'm bummed out that wasn't mentioned yet. That was iconic. I know, I know. And I thought about that too. Actually, I thought I really thought about that. And I was like, Majin Vegeta. I was gonna do Majin Vegeta versus Goku, but number two is gonna be Tien when he uh, is doing tri beam (laughs) over and over. Uh, in that in that pit. Great, great. You don't remember that? Oh no. When we when when he's flying fighting. He's fighting against Cell. I think it's second, Cell oh, too. The second four. Oh, yep. I remember Imper- that now. He kept tribing him yeah. over and over, trying to prevent. Yeah, such a hard moment. So that, was, that was. That so was. That was. Would y'all was. let down when they made all them niggas irrelevant? My bad for cutting. I mean, they no, they've been ar- they've been irrelevant. Yeah, they were never. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. They was all regular. Yeah. yeah. What's number one? Uh, number one is uh, I'd go Gohan. Gohan versus Cell. Uh, yeah, one arm Kamehameha. It's, it's that it's, shit was so cold. It's the best one. It's the best I, one. I, I, you you really can't you it's really best. can't top it. And I think it's like because you see like a father son thing. You're like, boy, I want my dad. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like a thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. It, I I watch that frequently. Uh, over, and I think it, I think it's really because that's the first time Goku lose. <laughs> you well, know, like nobody expected him to lose gave, like that. He gave up. He he quit. He he gave up. He yeah, gave but up. but it was on purpose though. I yeah, mean, yeah, but he yeah, still yeah. lost. But it was on purpose. But he still lost. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Speaking on fighting, have you guys heard that Jake Paul is going to fight Mike Tyson? <laughs> Man, that shit is dumb as fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going <laughs> that on. Shit dumb that, as fuck. That, have you heard that's, about that's the rules? Man, that ain't gonna happen. Have you no, heard about the happen. rules for the oh, fight? They're money, nigga. No, they're wait, oh, you got rules? What are the rules? Which one is it? Video B. B. Yeah, I didn't know they had rules though. I ain't gonna care. These are the ridiculous rules for Netflix's Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be streamed live too. Big boy. Oh yeah. Sign this is cringy. No problem. It's so cringe, dude. Saturday, July twentieth. See you there, buddy. Mark your calendars. July 20th sees Netflix host its first live sporting event, a boxing match with a twist. Jake Paul squares off oh, against Mike so, Tyson, so but full, Paul gets so to fight with headgear, use performance-enhancing drugs, and even tag in his brother for a temporary two-on-one no, situation. No, no. Logan Paul in the pink prime. <laughs> Despite these stacked odds in Paul's favor, <laughs> the odds makers still predict a win for the legendary 57-year-old Tyson. Who do you think is going to win? Niggas, Let me know in the comments. There's no way that's a real rule. There's no way. That's the they, r- they doing tag team boxing now, nigga. <laughs> Netflix, like we raising the we raised the price, so we need to give y'all something. There's no way. There's, that's not a real rule. That's not real. No bro, way. it's streaming live, bro. What do you mean? No, it's no, not no, real. no, 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 no. The fight, the fight is real, but that tagging in my brother, what, there's no fucking. I've heard way. Mike Tyson. It's rumored right now. Niggas. I've heard it from a few places right now. I, I yeah. hope that Jake Paul says something in the pre-fight, and then Mike is like, "Yeah, fuck our little deal." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, mean, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that. I'm gonna sleep this motherfucker. I'm all these eat kids. You gonna go back to that, all Mike? these uh, boxing. Things going on, they're just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's I all kinda, Jake Paul. I kind of wish they would stop. Um, it's all Jake Paul, bro. Welcome to YouTube. Because, like, this fight pisses me off and it's so stupid, but I know I'm going to be sitting there watching it. It pisses me off. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting there watching yeah. it. I have to watch it. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. It's Mike Tyson. It's fucking bro. dumb. I honestly really think that. Okay, so I think that Mike Tyson can knock both them niggas out, but he's 57 he's, years old. I mean, but bro, did you? That's Mike Tyson. Yeah, is, but did you that, see his training? Is that their first Netflix 
uh, this sporting event? So yeah, one hundred percent. Netflix is getting into the live thing. That's why they, I heard they about signed it. that. They signed that deal with mm. WWE, where they, they, it's a five billion dollar deal. Mm. Um, this is another thing where they're trying to get into uh, live content. I've noticed. Well, uh, they, they saw Hulu got live sports, and they got fucking Damian Lillard with the money gun. Yeah, they said, "Let's go ahead and get Dana." Dana, Dana was Prime asked about it too. It too now. Yeah, they Prime. said, "Hey, you, you see Netflix again?" And he's like, "And then someone said, you going to talk to me?'" He's like, "We're talking to everybody when we're doing the ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking to everybody." Yeah. Um, I wonder how long the uh, the the rounds. The, no, no, no. The pay per views stuff is going to stay around because people still pay for the pay per views. But WWE oh, got rid of pay per views a long time ago. A long right. time and ago, and it's helped their business out a lot. Well, they know they. I was going to say that they they the, knew what it was. Yeah. They know like ain't nobody WWE, paying a hundred dollars to WWE buy. is a, the hottest it's ever been, and they don't charge for for pay per views. So UFC, they're in the same company. I wonder if they get rid of it. But it's like. I don't. If people keep paying for, it, why would you get rid of that eighty dollars price tag? It, it depends on if Vince McMahon is, is groping, groping women. What's the latest? It depends on if Vince McMahon grabbing ass. Like, like where are we at? Yeah, where are we at with everything? Uh, Vince McMahon going to jail. WrestleMania. What's going on? Uh, I don't know nothing about wrestling except uh, Vince McMahon. <laughs> the Rock, pretty much, it's it's n- nothing major has happened. Oh. It's gonna be a tag team match, night one. Roman uh, Reigns still the top dude. He's still, <sighs> he the new Rock, bro. He's like the Rock, well, the new they're, Rock. They're gonna be tagging up him and the Rock because they're cousins. So the Rock and are you dead uh, ass? Yeah, yeah. Are they yeah. really cousins or they're like they're really WWE script cousins? They're really cousins. Oh, okay. They're that really all from the same family. <laughs> like when Kane and Undertaker were brothers. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I believe that shit. We, we all believe that. We believe that. I believe that. Yeah, <laughs> I thought they were really brothers. Really I really thought that, that Undertaker set him on fire as a child. Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. <laughs> like, yeah. How, how big was it when Kane took his mask off to y'all? Oh, it I was can talk so, about old WWE. It was, it was huge. crazy. It was crazy when I was a kid. That was so. I know, right? I remember. Uh, I was Super Saiyan. I remember that. I had a printer and I printed. I printed out this really blurry thing of him taking his mask off, and I brought it to school and I showed everybody because Monday Night Raw came on really late, so a lot of people didn't see it and internet wasn't like. Yeah, so, right. so I brought it and showed everybody. They're like, "Oh, it's so gross!" When it really wasn't. It was literally just like black paint on his face. <laughs> yeah, and they were like, "Oh, it's so his face is so burned." Blah, blah, blah. And then, and then when he took that shit off, <laughs> remember he stopped wearing that. He just looked regular. I was yeah, like, "This, yeah, yeah. this nigga look like Steve Wilkos." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Mari's old manager, old, old security guard. Remember Steve Wilkos uh, yeah. got a show. <laughs> oh my! God. He looked just like Steve Wilkos, bro. Um. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> so I want to talk about a couple bands now. Okay. TikTok has been that. TikTok has been in the news because uh, the the U.S. wants to. They, it's not really a ban, right? Okay, this this is what's going on. Oh, a band. A I band. You said a like a music band. No, 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 Me no, too. No, no, That's no, no, yeah, yeah, TikTok got music. <laughs> <laughs> um, so TikTok is owned by a Chinese company named ByteDance, right? Right. Um, they don't. The U.S. does not want. Chinese to have a uh, such a large amount of users with all their data and whatever because they could they, in their eyes it's like you could sell their you know you could get all their information and you could sell them a certain like maybe like I, I'm assuming like uh, like a mindset or sell them certain products they, they they don't want that and I see a lot of people upset about this and I'm like dude China, we don't Instagram and shit is not in China Facebook, all that shit. They got what? What is it like? We bite or something? They got like these weird Chinese versions of like Instagram and Facebook. So why are you guys upset that the U.S. is doing the same thing? Now, I see people upset saying like you guys are worried about TikTok when rent is through the fucking roof. So I get that. I get it. But at the same time, that what what the U.S. is doing is not, I don't think it's that crazy. I really don't even if 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 TikTok doesn't want to sell it, then ban it. I really don't. I don't give a shit. Like. If they don't want to play do. ball and they don't want to sell it to a U.S. company, then get rid of it. I, I really don't think it's... I like, I do. Because I think it's a whole bunch of old white dudes that don't know what the fuck going on. Just like the... They like abortion or whatever, the women shit. Uh-huh. Like, you, they can't get it up. So they like, women well, they can't have they, sex. They, they, they seem to be getting more savvy with it. Have you have you been watching any of the uh, social media hearings that they have? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so, so it's all I watch, the C- I watch everything. It, it's all the CEOs that all from, from all the respectable companies. I watch Discord, when they, X, when, uh, Zuckerberg. Yeah, I watch uh, that. that new girl of X. Um, but yeah, please. Uh, so my issue with it is that Facebook does the same thing. Yeah. Every website on the internet does the same thing. 
your information is the most pre like the most expensive commodity mm -hmm. on earth now mm -hmm. and just because like america can't control the narrative like it does on facebook like it does on instagram 100 percent. they're and i i also <laughs> believe that a lot of this lobbying is comes from the uh the israeli lobby because the one of the number one hashtags on TikTok is free Palestine. And that's Ooh, where you're going deep. Ooh. That's where a lot of that's where a lot of information that is pro Palestine is coming through and he got deep geopolitics. It's, yeah, it's very uh it's it's apparent that Israel has a deep hold on our politicians from APAC who funds like a ton of they they're the, like the number one funders of fucking. Don't let me get on APAC, fam. Yeah, they're they're uh, they they're having people turn coat on us. Like, real quick, if you don't know what APAC is, it's a it's a it's an organization of politicians and uh uh damn what is it? It's politicians. It's and Israeli lobbyists. So it's Israel's state. Uh, the way they fund the way our, they want our politics it, to work. It's lobbyists and politicians that are in the same organization. So it doesn't bother you that Ch China has the biggest social media company in the in America? That doesn't bother you? They got no. the biggest social media company in the world. Yeah, so... You know oh, what I'm saying? Well, yeah, but uh, so so, but, so, it doesn't, so China... It's an, also, they, also are, I disagree because Facebook is the biggest social media company. It's not owned by China, though. It's owned by America. It's but also, America. I mean, but it's it's the same shit, though. What, uh, this is all I'm asking. Isn't China... Aren't they our biggest threat? When, right, I don't it's know between I'm them and Russia right now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not being compatible. I don't know. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm. Not, I'm not saying you are. I'm. I'm just. I'm asking questions because I'm. I'm. I it's don't between know. China or Russia, and but my thing is like, they can get our information anyway. Mm. Literally, that's what so, I was going to say. Literally, that, okay. I was going to say. That, that's, okay. they, that's what you said. Okay, because face, what they sell our data. There's third party Facebook. So, sells so this to bring it is a good way to bring in the. Uh, what you were going to also bring up about how. Cornhub is uh, <laughs> being banned uh, Texas. in Texas yeah. because shout out to Pornhub because they <laughs> use uh, a, they want to have a age verification yes uh, tool to make sure that you're over eighteen to view Pornhub. So like what, the, how do you even logistically the, 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 <laughs> the issue is they want to use third party companies to collect your data through your driver's licenses through whatever verification. That they can. They the can. Oh, like, you have to scan like your ID to get into the site or something? Yeah, and those third-party sites don't have the security or the infrastructure to handle that. Get ready and to get that chip in your thumbs, fellas. Who's, yeah, I know. Who's, you want to watch porn? Get it in your head. So I'm uh, Neuralink, nigga. Just, <laughs> Neuralink uh, porn right to your brain. <laughs> I'm glad that we were able to bring up that topic because I was going to ask you guys, who's responsible for minors not watching the stuff? Is it the site or Bro. is it the parents? I think it's the parents, but I, I'm gonna be honest. We was young enough, niggas seen I, magazines. Well, I, no, <laughs> yeah. no, what I was gonna say was, it doesn't matter what measure you put into it. You're not stopping a horny teenage kid. That's what I'm saying. Looking at porn, he's gonna find a way. Niggas used to bury magazines in their backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, at, at my age, a coming of age story is finding a box of no magazines. No pun intended. In, uh, <laughs> yeah, <coming up>. <laughs> <laughs> finding a box of magazines in the wood in the woods was. Was a rite of passage. Come on, that's what I was <laughs> like. <laughs> right. It was a rite of passage. Right. You got to, yeah. you got your uh, brings back your uncle. You find a, <laughs> like, you find a magazine under his bed. See, you luckily know? for me, like when when all the horniness started happening, we we had all the fucking Skinamax channels. So it, well, no, I just had to wait. Uh, Y'all remember for the niggas to go to sleep, and I'm like, all right, yeah, we, we got, got previous. <laughs> you got the previous oh, yeah. button. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all remember? Y'all remember Girls Gone Wild? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. But the dude is shitty because I heard he was like super raping the bitches. Yeah. Oh, like yeah, they with yeah, no yeah. consent and all that shit. Yeah. But my uncle had the Girls Gone Wild. Do you remember VHS fans? Yes. All you, we used to go right when he was be gone. We go. Me and my cousin go right in his room. <laughs> pause. Cause we didn't, you know, we we young yeah. at the time. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Two niggas bricked up in the room is probably not the best. <laughs> <laughs> not the best look. <laughs> but we like 12, 13. Yeah, so we yeah. like, hey, put it in there. And then, you know, you got to like see exactly what time that it was already on when you watched it. Like, oh, all right, we had 22 God. minutes and 36 yeah. seconds. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're taking me back. We're winding that shit. Play yeah. it. We used to sit there like, oh. Yeah. I think I feel like everybody's had a young well because I remember a, a, he was like a few years older than me. He showed me um, hentai for the first time, and I was just sitting there like, 
why are these ninjas <laughs> fucking each other? <laughs> what is that? Like my my young like yeah, twelve year old no, brain is. was like, what am I seeing? Man? Like I just Bulma not supposed to throw it back. The <laughs> <laughs> they weren't that advanced back then, but yeah, yeah, it was fucking crazy. <laughs> but I think you got a point though, and you're like, and that's why I think that that's stupid because yeah. How do you logistically regulate the internet? You can't. First off, you can't. Second off, like you said, horniness is going to you know, no, overthrow it, everything. It knows no bounds. <laughs> horniness gonna, knows no bounds. It's going to overthrow everything, fam. There's, it, you can get us, especially now, you can get your IPA or uh, uh, or IPA, excuse me, uh, your IP, IPN. IP address. Yeah, your IP address. You can just get, you know go to a website and get it blocked or whatever. You meant to say VPN. Yeah, VPN is what I was trying to say. Yeah. I said IPA. <laughs> <laughs> we in San Diego, my bad. Another another thing that the that they're talking about is also talking about banning the the most popular drone company DJI because it's also from China. Uh, they're, they're, they're looking. They're looking. I at, didn't hear that. No, yeah, they're looking at other ways of trying to to end. And they've they've brought this bill many times. Can I can I be honest? From somebody really that had annoying. a political podcast, mm-hmm. mm. they literally just trying to get back in office. So like it's like they literally. You notice this only happens. All this shit is in Texas, Florida, <clears throat> Bama, Louisiana, Georgia. Mm. It's literally every place in the Bible, but North Carolina, all the Bible Belt states. Literally every every Bible Belt state. G. And them the only ones that have bands, books, internet, women. You know what I'm saying? Like them the only ones. Everybody else is like, you know, we chill it. Like, well, King yeah. got more on that. I don't. I don't follow the, politics. The yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. the one thing I will last thing I'll say about the TikTok ban is the mm-hmm. way it's written is that they can eliminate any app on the internet that they view as an enemy of the state. Yeah. That is something that you would see in North Korea. That is something that you would see in China. That no, is something that is. you see in Russia. Yeah. And that like, is. if we like want freedom of speech, I think they they already tried doing this years ago and yeah. they voted against it because of the public outcry. Yeah. I have a feeling that it'll pass the I house. I forgot about that. Yeah, it'll pass the house as like a form of like uh, protest and saying we're doing something. But once it goes to the Senate, I don't think it'll get passed. It's but, a wrap, bro. It's and, like a billion people, or I guess America three hundred thousand. It's like a at least a third of the country or like a fourth of the country is on that shit. Like, yeah, ain't nobody. And, and like I, people I, get paid off that. Shit. I fuck with TikTok. I just uh, I'm not like it doesn't make me. It, the reason it doesn't upset me is because China is, does the same shit. They don't have they don't have our fucking right. social media apps in, right. in their country. But that's mm-hmm. different, so, though, because they they communist. Nigga, you can't even get on the Internet on. You know, you can't get on YouTube. So that's Pornhub, what I'm saying. You can't Listen, get on hella shit. I, I always live by the. F- thing like if you do something to me i'm gonna do the same i mean whatever energy you give me i'm gonna give it back to you so i don't mind that the u.s is like listen nigga if, I, if you if you want to have tiktok here let us have fucking instagram facebook there and then we're we're even we're good we're like you know what i mean <laughs> but, but also <laughs> we're even but also china got social currency nigga like you can yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like if you type something on the internet nigga they they deduct I mean, we, money from you we, nigga. we already kind of have instagram i mean we already kind of have tiktok with instagram and youtube shorts no you're right now nah, they're trash nah. yeah yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Shorts are trash. Shorts yeah, you're right. TikTok is his I mean, own well, thing. What, what but, makes him different? It's just the algorithm or what? No, it's I think a, I think it's the the not the uh, yes the algorithm actually. I, I, I a actually lot, a lot of a lot of a lot of the stuff on like shorts and I just mean features. I mean it's short film. It's, it's, short it's film no, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. I just it's, mean the it's, con- it's, I'm going. It, I'm but, talking content. It is apples and oranges. You're we, right. We can't argue right. if you put something on Instagram, it's gonna get X amount, and you put it on TikTok, you TikToks. Oh, you definitely gonna get. Oh, yeah. You put on Tic Tacs. You just turned fifty five all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> we can move on though. But if you put it on TikTok, you're gonna get way more exposure. Is all I was getting. At. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got other clips here. I see. What else is? Are, uh, are these reactions or what? Is so it? I got one. So but my last topic for for today is. Yes, uh, uh, you, you guys have all heard of Resident Evil, right? Oh, that's my uh, shit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Resident Evil. What are your favorite video games? You scared the shit out of me as a kid. Um, Which Resident me Evil? Me too, bro. Resi- the first one. No, for me, it was Resident Evil 2. Two. Um, I uh, begged my mom to get this game for me. I, I mean, I begged her, right? Because yeah. it was the commercials were all over the place. It looked sick. I got the game, could not get past the beginning because I was scared shitless. Like, I couldn't couldn't navigate through the beginning. Real quick, was that the one where you start off in the train car? Or is that the first one? That's No, the train car is at Resident Evil 3. Okay. The, Resident okay. Evil 2 is the one where uh, you're... Is that you Raccoon know, City? Raccoon City, okay. Leon Kennedy, I'm the, I'm the, yeah, zombie Leon. in the back okay, of the thing, yeah, the, the car about. crashes, yeah. and you have to get through the city. And I, I remember this game being like a really big deal to you. 
Oh, dude, it, because oh, it, it gave me like nightmares for dead. My mom was pissed, and I never played. She wasted all this money. Well, zombies wasn't really big back then. That's so, the shit now. So back then, zombies scared the shit out of me. I didn't realize yeah. this until Resident Evil 2. Anyways, all the zombies in that game are white. And I remember even as an <laughs> eight-year-old kid, I said, how come there's no black zombies, right? Come almost, what, 15 years later? It's like, I think this is 2007, That's 2008. So That's so Maybe funny, 2009. Bro. There's a game called Resident Evil 5 that comes out, right? That's my shit. Resident Evil 5, it's a great game. It's it's an okay game. It's not my favorite. No, 4 it's an is okay the best game. One. 4 the best. It's, it's based in Africa, right? Uh-huh. And if you're in Africa, who are you going to be shooting? Black people. Black people. Africa. I ne- if you ask any black person that's ever played Resident Evil 5 and you're shooting, but you're never like, this is kind of racist. Well, that's 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 the argument today. They're saying that... Uh, Where can I buy this game? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your local GameStop. Local I'm, GameStop. I, it's uh, in Africa for real? I didn't know that. Yeah, so uh, I don't remember. I don't know which one it, one it is. I can't see from here. It should be a Resident Evil clip, though. <laughs> I can't tell either. Uh, maybe it's, F? It's F. I, I can see it from here. It's okay. F. Thank you. So. But all of this doesn't account for Resident Evil 5's most notorious problem. Racism. Set in a fictional West African country, Resident Evil 5's primary antagonists are black people. Yes, I need to it's watch this. the Ouroboros I mean, virus that protagonist Chris Redfield is fighting. But the Parasite's host is depicted as a nation of mobs and primitives who are violent even before their infection. Intentionally or not, Resident Evil 5 positions Africa as the Dark Continent, an uncivilized world harboring a diseased population that needs gunning down via Western intervention in the name of global security. This insensitive treatment of people of color was hotly debated even as early as Resident Evil 5's Super Smash Bros. trailer. <laughs> <We've> ra- <laughs> All right. So <laughs> that's my nigga on Smash Brothers. They, they're saying this has been hotly debated. Um, this is only hotly debated with white people. I, I guarantee, I, I promise you, yeah. you will not find a, yeah. a black person that would be right. like, this game is kind of racist, man. No. This game, if I would think, uh, them this white is just, liberals, this, unfortunately, this is just me. <laughs> I think the game would be even more racist if I was in Africa and there was no black people. I'm like, wait, you hate us that much that we can't even be the enemy of the game? Be, yeah. Be, yeah. One of the main characters in the game is Shiva. She's a black she's a black person. She's from the country. I, I just I mean, I just think the reason like racism in this shit doesn't go away is because of stupid articles like this, man. You keep bringing up and making things racist that are not. I was this, just gonna say that, like they say, they say uh, uh, Resident Evil racist. What about the police, nigga? And, <laughs> and yeah, like, Resident Evil Four is set in a fictional Spain, so it's okay to to shoot infected Spaniards, but not you can't shoot. Black people? What? What's going on? Yeah. Why can't what everyone we, get it? Also, Why can't no, everyone get it? That's. I feel like that's one of them things that no black people ask for, like Juneteenth being a national holiday. <laughs> like <laughs> nobody asked for that. Shit off. Nobody asked for that. Get it off. <laughs> nobody asked for none of that uh, outrage. We like, hey, uh, pay uh, the same loans, uh, jobs. Uh, yeah, police. They're like, we're gonna give you a holiday. Now, in Joaquin, I, Evil. I know you think a little bit different than me. How, how do you feel about? Do you think it's racist? No, no, I don't think it's racist at all. Because, and I also think that like it's a very uh, Western white people thing to think that there like isn't a difference between between African black people and American black people. Like, there's a huge Ooh, fucking difference. You need a clues bomb on that. I, one. I, li- yeah. I lived in El Cajon, dude. Big difference. Oh, oh, bro, there's, big there, there's no teeth. <laughs> yeah, a big El Cajon, like it's Indiana, bro. Three teeth per square mile. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. yeah. El Cajon. Well, we, we had a girl that, that was from Africa. Her name was Jenny. Yeah. She told me I wouldn't even be accepted in Africa. They yeah, even, I remember that. They wouldn't even fuck with you're, me. Out you're lazy. There. Did <laughs> she straight up said they wouldn't even fuck with you in Africa. I was like, okay. Because you American or because I think because I'm, I'm American, right. whitewashed mm-hmm. or whatever. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah but yeah, I yeah. relate with that because like I have an immigrant dad and like mm-hmm. immigrant. Like people are just different when it comes to like uh, their view of what America is. I've been to Mitchell. Like, I've been to Mitchell Khan, so I can kind of see that. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. saying I'm I'm Latin or nothing like or yeah. Hispanic or nothing, but mm-hmm. I, yeah. I seen them be like, these are Americans and these are us. Like it's yeah. a different. Yeah. Yeah. I I just think videos like that are that that's the problem. The the one thing I will say is like yeah. you can have like uh, Africans in there, like black people as Africans, but like some of those characters were a little ooga booga ish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like with the fucking spear, 
Like, there, come on. He had a big ass shield. He had a yeah. big ass yeah. body yeah. shield. Aren't there still people that live primitive like that? In oh, 100%. Africa? Yeah, I'm sure. So, I'm what's sure. wrong with having that in the game if they're I, infected by. I, I, you got a point. That's you got all a point. I'm saying. You got a point. It's, I don't think when they, when they made the game, their intentions was like. We gonna fuck these niggas up. Oh, yeah, exactly. Game. Oh yeah. my god! And Give them big lips and big noses. Oh, and it's, like it's it Japanese creators too, right? Japanese. So it's yeah, like they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah they, they weren't they, thinking about that. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, they just uh, they just a lot of I'm not saying Japanese people aren't racist. Let's not go uh, that far. Hey, Let's not go that far. Hey. Everybody hates niggas, but I don't think when they made that game. They were like, oh, that was the we intent. Fin- we finally get to fuck these niggas up in this game. Like, no, like, yeah. come on, man. Yeah, yeah they're making a game. G. Yeah, yeah, here. I, I, they, they can't keep doing it in Raccoon City. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Uh, that sounds like a show, folks. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you got anything to promote before we take off here? Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. First off, follow me at Real Walter Ford. That's on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, X Black Planet Farmers Only whatever you got. Uh, also make sure you follow all the the pages for my uh, uh, podcast, hilariously blunt podcast, the activated podcast, and Black to the Future podcast. Last but not least, I'm going to be in the Netflix is a joke festival oh, on nice. May 11th, opening for Pink Fox. Shout out to the homie. Nice. And if you're uh, in San Diego area, please come see me uh, shoot my first special. It's going to be at Mike Drop Comedy Club in the Gold Room, September 21st. We got two shows. Nice. Follow me. Yeah. Follow I'll be me there 100%. Nice. Prodigy. I'll be there. It sounds like a show, folks. We'll catch you guys next week. It's over. Woo!